Right, what's good guys, it's Jordy here. Welcome to another one. So in today's video, I'm sort of going to be reviewing the S15, but obviously it's my car, so it's a bit more personal to me as well. So I'm going to be explaining why I decided I wanted an S15, and I'll also be talking to you guys about how I find my S15. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys are proud of me. This is probably the first video I've made on this car on my channel where the car's actually been washed. I think one of the reasons I wanted an S15 was partially to influence. So the first time I actually saw an S15, by the way, I've always liked these, was back in 2003 roughly when I was a kid and Tokyo Drift came out. Um, now obviously I hope this car doesn't end up how that one did, but who knows, maybe one day I'll have an RV26 in this as well. <laughs> I'll be very honest with you guys, um, this isn't the first time I've actually considered one. Uh, back when I still had my Skyline R33, uh, Need for Speed Heat had just came out and I built an S15 in Need for Speed Heat and I just fell in love with it so much that I was thinking about buying one of these when I still had the R33 instead of buying a Supra. I'll even throw a clip in so you can see. I swear to God, this S15... I keep building cars in Need for Speed Heat that makes me really want to go buy the real car. I don't know about you guys, but I am in love with this S15. It makes me want to go buy one in real life and unfortunately, they've gone up so much in price that they're now more expensive than R3. It's like one of those cars that you always see at a car meet and just admire it. You like just take a second to look at them. Uh, and funnily enough, going back to Need for Speed, so my car in the game had a Garage Mac wide body kit. And at Snetterton last year, um, I actually saw one for the first time in real life and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, I'll throw a clip on that on the screen as well, just so you guys can see how sick it looks. You know what, fuck it, I am now recording on my phone because I went to use the loo and I didn't bring my camera with me. But then on the way back, I found this S15 and I swear to God, if I ever buy an S15, which I actually kind of want to, I'm gonna buy a video maybe like this because that is fun. This is far from being the only S15 I've liked at a car meet. Um, a lot of my friends will back me up when I put this car on the screen. Uh, I pretty much made a mess. <laughs> um, and ever since, I've just, it's been one of those cars that's always been in the back of my mind that I'd love to try one one day. And here we are. And then of course, there's the video I made where my friend Ethan, who owns a white one of these, uh, with 380 brake horsepower, took me out in it. Uh, at the time, my Supra was still dead, just sat in the driveway. I was trying to get it fixed and stuff. But I think that was one of the moments that really solidified me just saying, do you know what? It's time for me to try an S-Body. And then of course, there's also a few YouTubers such as Monkey London, Adam Ival, even Fresh Kicks over in America. A bunch of people on YouTube who have S15 Silvius as well. Believe me when I say I spent a unhealthy amount of hours during lockdown watching S15 videos on YouTube wishing I had one. It is also worth me saying once again, thank you to everyone who said congratulations for me buying this car. But another thing that I want to mention on top of that is the amount of fellow S-Body owners who have basically said to me, welcome to the S-Body life, the S-Chassis gang, you know, the family that is S-Bodies. There are so many more people in this country around my age group that have an S-Body and it's just a really cool group to be in because to be honest, prior to me even buying this car, I already had so many S-Body friends, which is awesome. My friend Charlie, his S14. I've been around that car since the day he got it. I've seen every single stage of it, and it's such an impressive car. It's so much fun, and the S15 is literally just as fun as his car, even though it's not as fast. He'd probably get me. I will make a video on that one day. <laughs> one of my personal favorite things about the S-Body is just how much variety there is in terms of what people do to them. People build these as drag cars, time attack cars, track day cars, drift cars. It's just like a platform that you can truly do whatever you want with. And I think that's awesome. I mean, you see S-Bodies all over the place with engines that they didn't originally come with. I mean, I've seen S-Bodies with Jay-Z engines, RBs, V8s, forged SRs. I've even seen rotary and K20 
S bodies and I just think it's awesome that people can take these cars and just change them so much and still make them sick. If I had to be honest, I probably couldn't even tell you guys which is my favorite S body simply because they're all so amazing when you do them upright. It's all about what you do to them at the end of the day. Personally though, I'd have to say the S15 is my personal favorite and it's the one I always wanted. Um, I had people sending me links to S14s. I was like, nope, it has to be an S15 because I just love how they look so much. I mean, yes, my car is already modified, but even in stock form, I just think they're such pretty cars anyway. I think the S15 has the nicest interior of them as well. And speaking of interiors, I think it's easy to tell just from sitting in here that this is the newest Silvia of them all. I mean, even the vents are the same ones you get in like R35 GTRs these days. Uh, you can tell this is more like the noughties era S body, whereas the others are definitely 90s and even going back to the 80s. It's just a really nice, simple layout, yet it's still a really nice place to sit. Now, there are things I'm going to change in here. There are things I already have changed in here and there's more to come. But even in stock form, it's just a really nice, simple layout. This car feels like a driver's car and I mean more than just the handling. But it handles great, but even just sitting in it, like you're so close to the floor, I could literally open my window my window, my door, and I can touch the floor just like that. You sit really nice and low to the floor. These are the OEM seat. I've not been in a car this low to the floor since I had the GT86. And speaking of my GT86, when I had that, one of my favorite things to do in that car was driving to Wales multiple times because the, the roads in Wales matched the handling of the GT86 so well. And I can only imagine that this car is going to be the same. So hopefully at some point I'll be doing some Wales content. It's going down some of the sickest B roads that this country has to offer and it will be great. Funnily enough, I also know some people who went from GT86s to S bodies, even S15s like myself. So I'd love to get a GT86 and S15 comparison video done at some point. Despite all of what I've said, one of the main reasons I got this car was to have a project car that I enjoy from day one. So I knew when I was choosing a car that I wanted to get something that was already turbocharged and also good at handling because at the end of the day, I love straight line speed a lot. However, nothing compares to a car that's really fun in the corners for me as well. You can see we've achieved with this car as well. I think it looks sick already. Already got a full body kit, really nice headlights, aftermarket wheels, coilovers, all the nice stuff that I would already like to do to this car have actually been done already. So it's a really nice place to start, this one I've got. I remember when I had my Skyline and everyone used to make jokes about it being a boat and I was like, nah, I like how it handles. But then I went in an S body and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, the Skyline doesn't quite do that. <laughs> This car is so much torque. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, pop. <laughs> I've had multiple cars that felt good to drive. But the only thing I can compare this to in terms of how much of a driver's car it feels like is the GT86. It wasn't the fastest thing in the world, neither is this. But it's amazing in corners, and so is this. And it's just, I feel like I'm, I'm in the right car for me, I feel like. Now, there are a few things that I need to change about the car. As you might be able to see, the steering wheel, there's barely any room between the steering wheel and my legs. So I can't even like properly cross my arms in corners. So I would need to get a deep the steering wheel. Not only do I love how they look, but I kind of need to have one in this car. You know, like steering the car is quite an important thing. <laughs> this feels like the fastest car I've ever had. I need to get this thing on the dyno and give you guys some real numbers so we, we know what we're working with. But honestly, the way this thing accelerates, it has to be quick. I really wish my R33 was still in the country so I could put this thing against it because this thing feels faster and my R33 felt fast. This thing, wow. Just any gear, any revs. What a machine, man. <laughs> I love this thing so far.
thing is so ready to go. <laughs> oh my god. Where has this car been all my life? <laughs> At some point I'm gonna film proper point of view drives, but I'm still staying in my local area until lockdown says that I can start going further out. I just don't want to get pulled. I love this car, guys. Anyway, let's park up and do a bit more explaining. <laughs> Another reason I'm really happy to own an S-Body is because, like I said, it's a much more relatable car to my sort of age group. Um, I feel like there's, well, there's definitely more S body owners who are 23 years old like myself compared to Supra owners, especially in the UK. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoy the content on this car more because it's a more affordable car for most of us as well and something that we can just buy and have fun with. Now the values of these are going up. If you're thinking about buying an S body anytime soon, I encourage you, they are amazing, take it from me. And I've not even started with this car yet. I remember my GT86 videos kind of being the same as well. I got that when I was 19 and there were so many friends I made who also had GT86s as well as people buying GT86s after seeing my videos and being convinced. So that was awesome. It is also worth me pointing out, as soon as we're allowed to go out a bit more, I would love to get more S bodies on the channel and just see what other people have done with theirs. I've had a lot of people ask me as well if I'm gonna drift this car. Um, I probably will, let's be honest, it's an S-Body. It's one of the best known chassis for drifting. Another great thing about me having an S15 is that they're going up in value. Uh, the values of them are quite stupid, especially if you find a clean spec car for sale. They're almost 30 grand, I can't believe it. But it does also mean that my money is in a pretty safe place with this car. Truth be told, I could sell it for a profit right now, but that is not what I'm here to do. Okay then guys, so that's gonna wrap today's videos up. Those are the reasons why I wanted an S-Body and chose an S15 specifically. I hope you guys got a better insight into why I really wanted to have an S15, finally. And yeah, uh, many more videos to come. So please leave a like, comment what you wanna see below and subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.